Hello, welcome to Kent Beer Reviews. Right, I've got a beer from the Wild Beer Company out of Somerset, and it's their Wildebeest. It's an Imperial uh, Stout, Russian Stout, 11% ABV, it's brewed with chocolate crushed espresso and vanilla. Oh, sounds amazing. I've had this beer for quite a while. There's the bottle cap. Um, there's a whole host of writing underneath. I might not go through it all. It's, it's like a, a chapter in a book. So, let's beer out. I've had this beer for about a year or so. I purchased it at the Ravensgate Arms in Ramsgate. What do you have? 11%. Let's go straight down. Half a finger. Finger now. Just over a finger of tan coloured head. Lightly tan coloured head. Nice small bubbles. It's pitch black. Slight rubiness at the bottom again. There must be a very thin part. But yeah, not picking anything else up. Jet black. It's getting aroma. Oh my word. Espresso coffee. As it says on the bottle. Vanilla. Yeah, for sure. And chocolate. They're the obvious main things. It's coming through very well. Rich roasted malt. Oh, smells amazing. That kind of sh crushed coffee dust aroma. You know that little bit in a... In a like a tin of coffee you get you get a little bit at the bottom it's really kind of refined coffee nice let's give it a try cheers oh my god that is smooth smooth no alcohol that is aged very well the coffee's still there oh Wow, it reminds me of a KBS I've done maybe this year. It's on that kind of level. Oh, that vanilla is coming through really well. Nice sweetness to the beer. I don't know if there's lactose in it. Um, there's a whole book of writing on the side of the bottle. I'm not going to go into it. I'll put all the information down below. Together with the brewery and uh, the Ravensgate. Hmm. So smooth. That is aged very well. No, you're not picking up the alcohol for sure. Not very bitter. There's a slight burn coming now. I'm only having little sips. Let's get the rest of this in. Generate that fabulous looking head again. Not enough for it, but yeah, fantastic beer. Really nice. Perfect for a winter's evening. Mm. There's almost some dark fruit, cherry notes coming through now. Phenomenal beer. Beers like this used to scare me just over a year ago when I first started reviewing beers. But I, I drink these quite slowly. Or with food. or You could have this as a dessert after dinner. Fantastic. The, the flavours are awesome. I go more for the flavours now. And a lot of these big ABV beers are, um, are definitely kind of almost like a dessert in their own but they don't scare me like they used to because the flavor is so big and delicious mm. oh that's nice dark fruits vanilla coffee the espresso coffee if you like espresso coffees and chocolate dark baker's chocolate in this dark fruits Dates, raisins and plums, that kind of thing. Awesome beer. Right, one more sip then and a rating. 
That's awesome. That is good. That's a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 beer from me. If you've had this beer from the Wild Beer Company, they're Wildebeest. I think that's how you pronounce it. Wild, wild, Wildebeest. I don't know. You know what I'm like. Let us know what you think if you've had it. Uh, this is aged for over a year. There, there might be a date on it, but I couldn't see it when the, the beer was in the bottle, so I um, can't see it at all. But I picked it up last year. It was fairly fresh then, so the coffee held on well. Cheers for watching then. Um, it's a 10 out of 10 easy all day long. 10 out of 10 from me. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next review. Cheers.